Okay. Modifications. Added two nozzles. Note that all the parts on this, copper fittings, etc., had to all be modified or trimmed to fit this because the uh, elbows, for example, are the short radius elbows, but I still had to trim the ends where the um, pipe goes in so that it can all fit because it's only about two and a half inches. About. The back's a tiny bit bigger, but it's kind of how I want to. Anyways. Um, Still the same up here, brass elbow modified onto the gallows gun part itself, and then a uh, short radius elbow, another short radius elbow, the modified T, the two modified elbows, a uh, coupling with some, it was a flared part for a uh, um, valve thing of some type, but with the AVNs, I was able to just um, take out the brass flared part, and that seemed to work pretty well. Um, right now, I just have it as it would usually be, except you know, 11 gram or 16 gram format, or however many grams it was for the test. Um, this one is slightly kinked, but it doesn't really seem to hinder performance by much. Yeah. Yes. That's what it looks like with the two. With a uh, 16 gram, I'm pretty sure. What the hell's it say that proves? No. No. Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, wait, this does. These are upside down. Caution. Blah, blah. Do not mutilate or heat. Well, just say it's 16 gram. And again, it frosts over, which is why the pipes will be covered in insulation and the top will be bondoed because of the way it sticks out a little bit where the um, trigger is. is. Then this bolt is going to have a large washer or a piece of aluminum to keep it down after it's been insulated and this bolt goes through a hole right here and because it won't have this part, it'll just have a part that screws into the back where this part will be um, trim down like I did for the front and uh, yeah no french fries to move in order to test it this time but with an 88 gram CO2 cartridge it should be able to move about as many french fries as last time if not more 